Guys, is it possible to learn feel? It absolutely is. And I'm the perfect example for that. When I was in juniors, I had no feel whatsoever. You would rarely see me attempt to do a drop shot or even backhand slice was a rarity. However, when I started teaching, I was forced to hit the balls very gently to my students. And over the past 25 years or so, I've actually developed great feel. So if I can do it, you can do it as well, but you have to practice it. If you don't practice feel, you will never have it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some great ways how you can improve your feel. I do place a big importance in learning feel as a tennis player. This is something that I do with my students on a daily basis. And in my experience, learning how to feel the ball better can actually help you with your powerful shots as well. So what is feel? What are we talking about here? So basically what feel refers to is feeling the ball. So when you feel the ball with your hand, you can feel the fibers rubbing against the hand. So how does this translate to tennis? We obviously cannot use our hand when we touch the ball. So we're talking about our strings. When players are referring to feel is that when we feel the ball on the string bed. So in order to feel the ball on the string bed, there has to be a reduction in speed. See, if we hit the ball very fast or very hard, we're gonna feel it a lot less because obviously the ball is gonna come off the strings much faster. So shots that are associated with feel are specialty shots such as slices, drop shots, short little angle shots that you're gonna hit, or maybe even topspin lobs. And while it's not absolutely necessary to have all these little specialty shots, there's even some elite tennis players who do not possess a lot of feel. In my opinion, it is always good to have a full repertoire of strokes. It's gonna make tennis a lot more fun to play. Okay, so let's get started with the exercises. And the first few I'm gonna show you are good for any level tennis players, even beginners. So if you're a beginner, what you have to learn is bouncing the ball on your strings. Now, while this might look easy, it's not so easy because you have to control your hand. So beginner players will often make jerky movements with the ball and they will lose control quite fast. So you learn to bounce the ball on your strings like this and then once you get comfortable with this, you can start flipping the racket upside down. And then also it's important to learn to bounce the ball on the ground. Again, this does require a still hand and a control over the string bed. Now there's a few progressions. You can start making it a little bit more tricky and difficult and maybe try to bounce the ball underneath your legs or you can even do one behind the back like this. And so you can make these exercises more difficult and they might even be useful for intermediate players. Another great exercise for the beginner level is try to roll the ball along the edge of your frame. You can see here how the ball is rolling along on the edge and now the more comfortable you get, you can start speeding this up and often the ball will roll right off your edge if you're not careful. And then you can also change directions. And you can do this before your tennis practice and this will improve your feel. Okay, now we go on to the intermediate to advanced level. And this is an exercise that I learned from my dad. So basically, we're going to flip the racket around without the ball falling off. So basically it's gonna look like this, you see? And I go back the other way. This is actually pretty difficult to do. And you can try it out. Okay, you can also bounce the ball on the ground with your edge. This will also work on keeping your hand still. And this one is easy. And next one I'm gonna show you is the hard one. It's basically bouncing the ball with the edge into the air. And what I recommend is holding the racket a little bit higher. And there's some guys online who are absolutely amazing at this. I'm not very good at it. Let me see how many I can get. Five, six, seven. Come, come, come. Okay, it's actually not bad. The best exercise for feel and the one you absolutely must learn is the following one. You're gonna throw the ball up into the air and now you're gonna catch the ball without the ball bouncing off your strings. So a lot of recreational players will throw the ball up and then when they try to catch it, the ball bounces off the strings and they can't figure out how to do this one. And I'm gonna show you the mechanics behind it. So basically what you need to do is when the ball is going down, the racket needs to go in the direction of the ball. So the ball is falling and the racket simply has to follow the direction of the ball and this will slow the ball down and make it stop on the strings. Let me show you one more time. Racket goes in the same direction as the ball and the ball stops on the strings. Guys, you can also learn how to stop a ball that's coming towards you. So basically, you're gonna do the same mechanics. Ball's gonna be traveling in this direction and the racket is gonna go backwards with the ball and it's gonna make it stop on the strings. Now when the ball is coming with a lot of pace, you don't need to go back that far. You do a little, quick little move like this and the ball stops and this looks really cool and a lot of people are impressed by this. So let me show you again. See that actually bounced a little bit. Let me try again. Bounced again. Let me do a little quicker move. That was better. 
That was the best one so far. Let me try one more. There it is. One more time. That was the best one so far. That one did not bounce at all. That was a good one. Another great way to develop feel is by playing mini tennis. See, this is often neglected in practice. Players will go straight to the baseline and start rallying from there. In my personal practice sessions, I start every single one with mini tennis. I made another video titled Mini Tennis Drills and Games and I highly recommend that you watch this video and copy some of these drills and games and then incorporate them into your tennis practice sessions. And guys, you can also improve your feel by doing shots that are in the feel category. Things such as the drop shot, the slice, the topspin lob, or short little angle shots. But the shot that's mostly identified with feel is the drop shot and that's the one I'm gonna show you today. Now, if you wanna find out in great detail what the technique for the drop shot is, I have a separate video you can check out titled How to Hit a Drop Shot. But let's just talk about generally how do we approach the topic of feel when it comes to drop shots. See, you have to hold the racket looser, number one. It has to be a looser hold on the grip because just like that exercise we did when we are catching the ball, we wanna absorb the ball in the string bed. I want you to have that same mental image on the drop shots. Now, while you might not be absorbing the ball so much when you're hitting drop shots from further back in the court, you do need to hit more of a down and across movement. When you're at the net, however, and you're getting a lot of pace coming your way, you can actually employ this similar technique to that exercise where you are actually absorbing the ball and making the racket go backwards. So guys, let me show you how to do this. So you have to absorb the ball into your string bed. And if you do it really well, the ball is gonna have a lot of backspin. It's gonna bounce on the other side and then come back to your side. Let me see if I can do it on this one. Yes, I did it. So this is a great way to develop feel because if you want the ball to bounce on that side and come back to yours, you cannot make any forward movement of the racket. You have to absorb the ball into your string bed and go backwards a little bit while at the same time going down and across like that. So guys, you can develop feel, but you have to practice it. So incorporate some of this stuff into your tennis practice. And once you have feel, this will round out your game. It will complete your tennis shot repertoire. And not only is this a more fun way to play, but it can also make life more difficult for your opponent. And this can only happen with the reduction in speed. See, when we hit the ball very hard, we're feeling the ball. Oh my. That's not ironic at all, talking about feel and then framing one over the fence. <laughs>